Good morning, everyone. How are you this beautiful day, this beautiful day that the Lord has made? I'm Karen Jane Casey on the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And every Friday we have episodes on Karen's Book Corner. This is where I share about books, books that I've read by other authors or books that I've written. And, you know, I've written several books. So today we're going to take a look at Mystery at Candace Bay. And I chose this book because it just recently relaunched, well, a few weeks ago. Mystery at Cantus Bay. What could this be about? Well, you know it's a mystery. And, and on the front, co- front of the cover, there's a, it's a real light blue, very lovely, and a, and a girl in the background contemplating something, a young woman. And then there's a bike laying down. Looks like it's near the water. So, hmm, what could this be about? Actually, it's a good book for teenagers, young adults, and then everyone else. It's PG rated, even though there is some scenes of romance in there. (laughs) And of course, it is a page turner, a true whodunit. You will read through it quickly because you're not gonna wanna put it down. So let me read the black back blurb before we get started. Mystery at Candace Bay. In the seemingly peaceful suburban community of Candace Bay, teenagers Casey and Janie are caught up in a series of mysterious events, beginning with the sudden disappearance of their friend and classmate. As the teens grapple with rumors and fears, situations escalate into crimes and violence. They struggle for inner strength, and spiritual growth. They don't understand why bad things can happen. Is God with them to bring them through it? Can protective parents and friends shield these teens from evil? Who is the culprit and will he be caught? How can this town recover from such violence? So you know from that that something bad has happened. And in the beginning pages we learn that their, their friend and classmate has disappeared mysteriously. They don't know if something bad happened to her. We find out more about it on into the story. I don't want to read anything that might um, give away some of the story, but I thought I would just read maybe a page in between actions, give you a flavor for the, uh, the way it comes out. All right, so on page 16, here we go. While the clothes dryer worked the wrinkles out of her jeans, Casey quickly ate two crispy pieces of bacon and gobbled down some cereal. She hurried to the sink to place her bowl in the dishwasher. Wham! Her bowl hit the edge of the counter and milk splashed onto her red top as she had attempted to dump the remains of the milk. Crap, she muttered. Now I'll have to find another top. And she knew that nothing she owned was as pretty as that little red top. She and Rusty, her precious Pomeranian, rushed back up to the stairs to search for another shirt. What? Am I hoping to impress my admirer? But he might be a jerk. Agitated at that thought, she chose a simple pink blouse. She held it up. No, it could be Steve. I must look sexy. She searched until she found a tight, low-cut blue t-shirt. Casey loved to ride in Mark's red Mustang to and from school when he had let her. But as usual, lately, his car was in the shop and Casey would be riding the bus. Not fair. She began counting the days until she was old enough to get her license and have a car of her own. Just before walking out the door, Casey's mom called her back to the living room. Honey, I don't mean for you to be afraid, but at the same time, while we still don't know what has happened to Tina, please be extra alert to your surroundings. Don't let strangers in your personal space, and just be careful. She lovingly rearranged a few strands in Casey's hair. Just do this for me, all right? How exasperating. Did she think I'm a dummy? Casey shrugged her shoulders. Yes, Mom, like always, duh. She quickly gave her mother a peck on the cheek. Don't worry, I love you. Her mom hugged her. I love you too, dear. Casey hugged and kissed Rusty then shut the door front door as she left. 
He quickly perched himself on the arm of the rocking chair so he could watch her walk to the to the sidewalk while he yipped a loving farewell. Well, that's just to give you a little bit of flavor. <laughs> so actually, Mystery at Candace Bay is a, in a series, and the series is Standing Through Storms. We have Mystery at Candace Bay, Stand with Your Armor On, which is five separate uh, stories that are applicable to today, today's conflicts and decisions and mm, consequences. <laughs> and then we have My Dear Rosa Jean, which was really the first book that I wrote, um, speaking about a lifetime of a woman who has gone through a lifetime of abuse and how she overcame. And, and through it all, we know that we can turn to the Lord. So this is the uh, three books in the series, Standing Through Storms. And there's another one coming up this fall to go with that. So I hope that you enjoy Mystery at Candace Bay, and you will let me know what you thought of it. Some of the topics in here would be cutting, bullying, favoritism, romance, <laughs> and of course the mystery of what happened to her friend and a whodunit. So there is a predator in the story. Finding out who it is will take you a while. And then working together, the whole community works together. And then very importantly, there's the issue of grieving. And it really helps you to overcome grieving in the Lord. So it takes a team, and then we face fears. It, there's a lot of um, lot of issues handled in this storyline. So let me know what you think of it, and if you love it, please go to Amazon.com and give a review because that will encourage other people to enjoy the book as well. So um, that's all I have to say today. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you join me every Friday on Karen's Book Corner. And as you may know, Turn to God with Karen has <clears throat> episodes every Monday and Wednesday as well. Monday's episodes are about overcoming challenges in life. And then Wednesdays are sort of the spirit where we talk about um, topics and certain passages in the Bible. This is Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, podcaster, domestic violence victim advocate, and ambassador for Christ. And, uh, I hope that you will give me your comments. Uh, any feedback is always appreciated. You can give that to me through my website contact page. That's KarenJaneCasey.com. Well, thank you and God bless. <music>